complete the clue is the fourth game in the Chocolate Fix tournament. The ideas here are different and confusing. Yes, that's the way we like it. But once you've gotten good at playing games two and three, you should be ready for the challenge. Let's walk through a challenge step by step to see what is involved. Your goal is to complete clue number two by placing a single clue attribute within it, making the challenge unique. It's like game number three, but now you're completing a clue instead of choosing one. Here we can see that all the pieces are placed except the light triangle and the pink triangle, and it's clear that there are only two places where these pieces can go. So let's look now at where clue 2 can be placed. We can place it here, but all these cells already contain full pieces, so this doesn't help us much. So we'll place it here. Now the clue covers the top row triangle attribute, giving us something to work with. We now know we'll be placing our clue attribute in this cell of clue number 2. So, what information will be helpful to us now? We know that this cell needs to be a triangle, so it won't help to add a shape to our clue. Since we only have two triangles left to place, our job is now to specify which colour the triangle here should be. So what happens if we make it light? Well, remember your training from game 3? The partial clue can fit into here and here. If we add light to the clue, it would fit in either location, and that means that the clue wouldn't give us any new information, and there would still be two solutions to the puzzle. Now how about if we make it pink? Now clue number two only fits in one place. The top triangle must be pink, and the remaining triangle must be light. The puzzle now has a unique solution. You can double check your analysis by placing the remaining pieces from the bottom tray onto clue number one if you like. To complete the challenge, you must drag the correct attribute, in this case pink, from the clue attributes tray and place it on clue number two like so. Note that in practice games, if your solution is wrong, you'll get more chances to try the challenge again, but in the tournament, you'll only have one chance to place the right attribute before the game moves on to the next puzzle. Let's try another example. Here there are two dark pieces that still need to be placed, the dark circle and dark square. When we examine clue number two, we see that the only cell that can make a difference is this one. So this is where we'll focus. We know this cell is dark, so we need to figure out which shape it is. Let's choose the square. Hmm, do you see a problem here? Our clue would comfortably fit here, over the pink square or here, which means that there still could be two solutions. So the only possibility left is to place a circle here, because a circle makes the clue only fit in one place, here, making our circle dark, in turn allowing us to place the remaining piece. So to complete this challenge, drag the circle from the clue attribute tray to cover the correct cell on clue 2, like so. Make sense? Now, let's try a harder red level challenge to finish. These challenges are harder because clue number 2 can now cover both of the incomplete cells in clue number 1, so there is more room for error. So let's figure this one out. First, let's identify the only cell in clue number 2 that is really helpful to us. That's the lower centre cell. Why? Because we know our missing information will be in the centre cell already since our incomplete pieces are all here. If we choose this cell to place our attribute, you'll notice that clue number 2 would fit here as well as here. We'd have no extra information to help us determine a unique solution, so we know the attribute will instead go here. Once we identify this, let's repeat the same principles to figure out which attribute to place here. So now we're looking to determine which triangle is dark and which is light by placing the right colour attribute in this cell. If we make it dark, the clue fits in the lower two rows overlapping this dark circle. This option doesn't give us any added information about the incomplete triangles, leaving two solutions still possible. So this cannot be right. If we place pink in this cell, now there is only one position for clue number two. The centre cell will be a pink triangle and the remaining triangle will be dark. To complete the challenge, drag the pink colour from the clue attributes tray into position on clue number two like so. Easier than you thought, right? Now, give it a try.